Mike Zagalski here, National Sales Manager at Fordham. More than likely, you just bought one of our kits to start out with. Our kits have the motor, speed control, handpiece, and accessories. Let me show you what we have, how to set it up. You open up the box, you'll see the instructions. Read those, they're very important. There's a lot of tips and tricks in there. Get a handpiece and a tube. It'll come with either a chuck or a pin and wrench, whatever you need to change out burrs. Tube of grease for maintenance on your flex shaft. And all of our kits have got accessories. Our sets do not. And all these accessory kits are a little bit different um, for the different kits. There's jeweler's kits, general purpose kits, wood carver's kits. Let me show you what we have inside the box. You have a speed control, variable speed foot pedal for hands-free use. Has two plugs. One's the short plug that you plug into the motor. The other's a long six foot plug that you plug into the wall. You always need to have the speed control between your motor and the wall outlet. And this is our motor. You got a hanger bale, motor brushes on either side. You're gonna to wanna to check eventually. And this is the shaft and sheath. I'll show you how to set it up. So what you're gonna need is a motor hanger. Most kits don't have them. Some kits, vary, variations do. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna get set up your motor hanger. If you're right-handed, it'll be to your right. If you're left-handed, on your left-hand side, on your workbench. Just hang up the motor. Take the plug. Plug it into your short end on your speed control. And now you attach your handpiece. Turn the motor on. The SR motors have an on, off, and reverse button. The TXs have no button at all, or the LXs. Turn it on. Start it up spinning slowly. And once it's slowly spinning, you put the handpiece on it. When the chuck or the collet starts spinning, pop it in, and you're all set to go. The shaft and sheath come pre-lubricated, so you don't need to lubricate anything. The hand pieces need no maintenance whatsoever, although some of them need a little bit of oil at first, like a hammer hand piece or the duplex hand pieces. So you can also raise this up or down in height, and that'll help you get the correct arc to your flex shaft with plenty of room for you to work in your work area. It's as simple as that. Make sure you read the manual. There's all types of safety information in there and operating ma maintenance information that you're going to need.